Hi everyone, welcome to new Abacus tutorial video from Not Real Engineering. And in this video, we are going to talk about shell elements and how to model a problem in Abacus CAE using shell elements. Typically, shell elements are used to model a structure in which one dimension of that structure is significantly smaller than all other dimensions. So one example is this steel ruler. The thickness of that steel ruler is significantly smaller compared to its width and height. And the rule of thumb is when thickness is 20 times less than all other dimensions, then you can use shell elements and 20 times less. I mean, minimum 20 times less. It can be more than 20 times less. Anyway, this is a typical shell element. It has nine nodes. And as you can see, shell elements have some thickness, but this thickness you will define in Abacus. So in general, shell elements are 2D, but they will have some thickness, which you can define and every node will have six degrees of freedom, three translational and three rotational. In Abacus, this typical shell element is called S4 element. But of course, there are some special purpose shell elements as well, which might not have six degrees of freedom. But in this video, we are going to talk about only conventional shell elements. Therefore, with six degrees of freedom, you can model any type of deformation in 3D. Shell elements are best used for parts made with sheet metals as sheet thickness will be significantly less compared to other dimensions. And you might be wondering what are the advantages of using shell elements? Because definitely we can model this ruler using solid 3D elements as well. Then why to go for shell elements? So first most important advantage is it saves a lot of computational time. If you use solid elements, it will take much longer to run your simulation and shell elements will maintain the accuracy while reducing the computational time. Then secondly, it is easier to mesh. This might not be case for all geometries, but for some complex geometries, it is difficult to mesh using 3D solid elements. But with shell elements, we can mesh it comparatively easily. And when these parts undergo bending, many times if you are using solid elements, you will get locking error, which is due to negative Jacobian. But shell elements are less prone for this error as well. Now, this is the example we are going to solve today. This rectangular geometry is just a simplification of this steel ruler. We will fix it at one end and we will apply a load of 0.1 megapascal in this area over here at the another end. All dimensions given over here are in millimeters and we will stick with this SI mm units. I am going to use material steel with Young's modulus 210 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio 0.3. And this is going to be static analysis and thickness of ruler we are going to assume as one millimeter. The width is 25 millimeter, thickness is one. So thickness is 25 times less than the width. So definitely we can use shell elements. Let's start with Abacus CIE. First set up your working directory and then create a part. I'm going to name it as ruler. It should be 3D deformable, but in shape you will choose shell. And in type I'm going with planar, say continue. Then using rectangle, I'm going to create a ruler and then we will adjust the dimensions. So this dimension is 25 and length is 160. You know what? Let's do some extempore. This doesn't look like ruler, right? So maybe let's give it more realistic shape. So what I'm going to do is I will create one arc over here. To create that, let's create one point first at the middle of this width. So this is 12.5 and maybe from here at 25. And then we can create arc using this button center and two end points. So this will be center and this is the first end point. This is the second end point. Then we can remove this line Okay, looks good. And then let's make one hole over here. So circle, maybe over here this much. And let's give dimensions. So radius maybe 4 mm and the distance from here. The vertical distance maybe 10. Much better, right? Now it looks like ruler. Say okay and your part is ready. So if you rotate this, you can see this is just a 2D, but we will assign a thickness to this. 
now next go to property create material steel material elasticity elastic young's modular says 210 gigapascal you have to convert it into megapascal and poison's ratio 0 0.3 say okay create a section and now here when you create a section i am naming it as steel you have to choose shell shell homogeneous say continue and then here you have to define the thickness in our case thickness is one millimeter so i'm going to enter one over here material by default is selected as steel and in thickness integration rule i'm keeping it simpson which is by default and integration points five if geometry is complex you can increase these integration points if thickness is more you can increase these integration points but for our case we can just go with whatever default there is say ok and then assign the section so select this part and over here you are selecting section steel which we just created and one more thing you can choose over here is shell offset by default it will be middle surface what it means is whatever plate we created the thickness will be assigned in a such a way that the geometry we created will be at the center of that thickness so when we say one millimeter thickness it will assign half millimeter on the top of this and half millimeter on the bottom of this you can change this to top surface bottom surface as you want but in this case we will keep it middle surface say okay next go to assembly create one instance one quick thing i want to mention over here is if you want to see the thickness of these shell elements you have to go in view then assembly display options and in this you have to tick on this render shell thickness and say apply so now you can see the thickness of shell elements and as i said before you can see half millimeter is on the top and half millimeter is on the bottom you can also change the scale of this thickness if you if you change it to five it will be rendered five times but of course this is not correct so keep it always on one and this is your thickness of shell I will just turn it off again then go to step create static general step say continue I'm going to turn this nonlinear geometry on because ruler might undergo large deformation and in increment I'm going to change this initial increment to 0 0.1 and maximum also to 0 0.1 and this may be let's increase to 1000 say okay then load what we are going to do is we are going to fix this one end on the left hand side for that create boundary condition say continue select this edge and just all degrees of freedom to zero now this edge is fixed and we have to apply some load over here now to apply load we have to create a partition for that i will go back to part and in part you can partition face using sketch command and then select the edge this edge will appear on the right and vertical now just take a line and partition it i am just partitioning approximately but you can adjust the dimension also from here let's make it 20. i know in our problem it was 10 millimeter but now because of hole and extempore we are changing this to 20. okay say done so you can see the partition is done over here again go to load now apply pressure over here in shell elements whenever you select surface for load it will ask you to choose the side one is brown one is purple so the top one is brown if you see the bottom one will be purple so we will select brown over here then magnitude maybe 0 0.1 say ok now we have pressure over here next go to mesh first change this to part go in mesh select element type select the whole part say done over here by default you must see the type it's shell you don't need to change it but just make sure that it is shell element and you can see the type over here s4r this is because of reduced integration if you remove the reduced integration it will be s4 elements in this problem it is a very simple problem so you can keep reduce integration as well it will not matter then mesh controls and in this area i am going to use structured mesh in this area we can't use structured mesh because of the hole 
then seed the part let's see this is two cores maybe four yeah that sounds okay and then mesh next go to job create a job i'm going to name it as ruler say continue say okay and that's it submit the job job is done let's see the results let's see the deform shape oh wow it deformed a lot so it's a very thin plate and we applied 0.1 megapascal if you see the displacement it deformed by 70 millimeters you can animate this in time using this button and if you want to see the thickness of this ruler what you have to do is go into view then odb display options and here click on render shell thickness say apply and now you can see the thickness as well the thickness is one millimeter anyway that's it for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please go to channel's home page and you can find many similar videos over here don't forget to show your support by subscribing to this channel and as always thank you for watching